Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from IBG models. It is molded in 135 scale and it copies 75mm uh, field gun uh, from 1897 with screw. So basically we get uh, figures included into this kit as well and it might be a handy base for a diorama project in popular 135 scale. So we have a commercial sample, it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video video review, we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside. So first of all box size is standard, here you can see comparison with my hand, um, also a small sign shows that figures are included. On the side we have some information about the kit, this is pretty much standard stuff and I mean those kit pictures you can check them, uh, their reviews as well, we uh, checked some of those and here you can see the marking guide one and only. So this is a top opening box and inside we get the plastic sprues in one, actually two plastic bags, assembly menu on the bottom and also separate plastic bag with decals. We are going to check them in a second, one by one and then we will move on to the assembly menu. So now we have resealable plastic bags which is really cool because it is easier and faster to open. And here, as far as I can guess, we get figure parts, which is really surprising uh, for the IBG models. So, first of all, we have here this plastic sprue with figure parts. So, I would say the um, parts division is more or less typical for 135 scale. As you can see, these are separate legs, hands and torso and head. And all features look really good, especially considering that this is a out of the box stuff we get without any additional purchases and I mean we even have some guiding elements which should help us with proper alignment which is really cool I mean not that many kids feature the same stuff next we have sprue D so I, I thought that we get absolutely similar identical set of parts but actually those figures of course they are different and what I'm trying to understand is in what stuff they are different from each other. So just give me a second. So this is another plastic sprue. Next we go on with one more. So this one, this guy has a different pose as you can see. Um, it's more of the straight standing pose I would say. Next we go on with one more and this one comes with letter B, so it's a B sprue and as you can see hands are in slightly different position. And next we go on with one more plastic sprue, so again we have some guiding elements inside and they will be definitely handy for our assembly process. Next we get absolutely identical set of sprues, so I will show you only one. These are the long rifles which will be used for figures. As you can see they are not that huge and you can see comparison with my fingertip obviously. And also here we have the ammo for this field gun. It is molded separately which is really cool. It might be handy for some diorama ideas. Next we go on the sealed plastic bag. So here it is. And I'm going to cut through it in order to see what we have in this plastic bag. Well, of course it is obvious what do we have here, but I mean it's always interesting to check everything closer. So just give me a moment. First of all we have two large plastic sprues with wheel parts. As you can see they are molded as one piece elements. They look really cool and I think it should be easy to work with them. Next we go on with one more plastic sprue which is dedicated to various thin parts so I will show it like this here you can see all those elements and next we go on with armor shield which is molded separately as a one piece element here it is and one more plastic sprue so here the most notable thing is that we get the main barrel which should be glued out of two halves so don't um, overlook this area because otherwise you might end up with a really ugly result so in case you don't have a chance to get the metal replacement be careful while assembling this stuff. 
Next we go on with small plastic bag which is dedicated to decals sheet and also here we have the uh, P thread so again I'm going to open it and we will take a look at all those elements. So first of all decals come from TechMod. Uh, these are really tiny symbols so be careful while applying them. It might be easy to lose them in the water. And next we go on with P thread which is not that big but some parts will be used for fine detailing of the field gun. So next we go on with assembly manual. Here it is. So assembly manual is typical for this manufacturer. Uh, I don't see anything surprising here. On the first page we have paint chart. Next we go on with parts map and we start assembly process which starts from the uh, lower section then we continue gradually to the top parts. Here we start working with P elements. Some of them will have to be bent so be ready for this. Next we continue with armor shield which should be glued out of several parts. Main barrel which is again a combination out of several plastic parts and here you can see assembly process continued. Then we let's say um, made together or connect together the main gun and also the chassis here and then we move on to figures. So there are five figures as you can see we have separate assembly section for each of those guys and I just wonder if we have yeah we have simple marking guide here which should be more than enough in order to get a decent look on your uh, field gun and figures as well. So as I said before this kit should be already available you can get it on official manufacturer website of course if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye!